morning to each of you students. It's uh, good to see you guys this morning and to have a couple of minutes uh, with you as you start your day. And uh, as we start our day today, uh, I want our minds to be uh, tuned into Lamentations chapter 3 and uh, verses 22, 23, and 24. And uh, you guys have heard this passage before. Uh, it's something that you've probably heard several sermons on and uh, always see it maybe like put on coffee cups and that kind of stuff. Uh, as a means of encouragement. But what's here, I think, is really, really hopeful uh, for you and for me, especially as we start our day. And uh, and I'm not really sure what yesterday looked like for you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a day of, of joy, a day of gladness, or if it was a day of trouble and difficulty, uh, a day of struggle, uh, a day of failings, or whatever it might be. Maybe you were um, blindsided with some sort of uh, sorrow in a way that maybe you didn't expect or something like that. And so you went to bed last night anxious and frustrated, uh, maybe a little bit angry and just confused. And so you wake up today and you're uncertain of how to even feel. Um, uh, I know that may be the case for some of you guys and for a lot of people that are actually walking through um, you know, quarantine season in the world that we're living in. But uh, the promises of Scripture uh, are true and can be believed regardless of what season of life that you're in. Uh, even if you don't uh, feel like they're true. And so Lamentations, uh, I think, speaks to that a little bit today. And uh, as Lamentations is being written, uh, recognize that Jeremiah, the guy that's writing this, is watching his hometown like burn. Uh, it is being taken from him. It's being um, uh, under the captivity of the Babylonians. And like he is watching all of everything that he's known just burn to the ground. And so there's sorrow and heartbreak and disappointment and grief that's happening as he's writing this. Um, but what he says here in verses 22, 23, and 24, if we firmly believe them, have the ability to really be life-changing for us. And this is what Jeremiah says. He says, because of the Lord's faithful love, his steadfast love, we do not perish, for his mercies never end, and they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say the Lord is my portion, therefore I will put my hope in him. This is where we get that uh, famous song that we've sung before, uh, Great is thy faithfulness. It came from this passage of scripture as Jeremiah was watching his city burn, um, the temple being destroyed, and yet he is saying that the Lord is faithful. Uh, he is saying that every morning there are mercies that are brand new. And so as you guys wake up this morning, despite what you might have experienced yesterday, recognize that today is a new day. Um, the Lord is faithful today. The Lord loves you today. Um, the Lord cares about where you are today. He cares about your circumstances, and He's sovereign and good and faithful. So firmly believe that. And as you believe that, recognize that today brings new mercies from the Lord. And regardless of whether you're looking at sorrow or whether you're looking at joy, um, what makes Jeremiah say this is the fact um, of verse 24 where he says, The Lord is my portion. So even if you have nothing, you can take hope in the fact that you still have Christ and that is enough. Because of the gospel of Jesus, like his perfect life, uh, his death on the cross for you and for me and for sinners, his resurrection from the dead because of the gospel of Jesus, despite what we're walking through, whether sorrow or joy, um, we can have gladness of heart because of that. Um, and so whether we have nothing or whether we have a lot, we have the gospel and that's all that matters. And so here Jeremiah is saying that, you know what, even in sorrow and even in disappointment, uh, I have the Lord and that is enough. And because of that, like today's a new day and I can walk joyfully and gladly in that. And so today, I hope you guys um, look at Jeremiah 3, spend a little time thinking about that today, recognizing that regardless of where you are, uh, the Lord is good, the Lord is faithful, and so therefore, um, the mercies that He gives you today are fresh and new. Uh, guys, we're grateful for you. We look forward to being able to worship together with you sometime soon, um, but you guys are awesome, and we're praying that today goes well for, uh, for our HG family. We'll see you soon.